sorry. So baby, be the life of the party. Come on tonight, come on tonight. There's no standing in your way. Come on tonight, come on tonight. We don't care what the people say. We don't care what the people say. Yeah! Sean Mendes, you got the best fans in the world right here. So you arrived to Sweden yesterday, yesterday right? Yes. And how do you like it so far? I Except from the sparkling water. Yeah, I don't like the sparkling water. It's great. It's amazing. I mean, I haven't got to really walk around. When I got here, I had to fall asleep. I'm very <laughs> jet-lagged right now. So it's like, ah, you yeah. are? Yeah, but um, it's amazing here. The girls are beautiful here. Everybody say that. Everybody looks like a are model. Are you lying? Or I'm are telling you? the truth. Everybody looks like a model here. I'm not lying. No, okay, I believe you. You all have um, blue and green eyes. Uh, maybe. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Us Canadians and Americans, we have brown Is eyes. Is that like, unique we're in... to have blue and green eyes? Ma oh, yeah. Not in Sweden. In, in no. Canada it is. Do you all have, have you not noticed that? Because no. everyone I say it, say that, oh, you never noticed it. No, we, I think we don't. It's incredible. You guys have crazy eyes. So, I mean, you had a few fans, right, waving at you at the airport? Yeah, there was like 50 or something. It was a lot. It was crazy. Yeah. Were they crazy? No. Very calm. That's another thing, actually. All the fans here are very respectful and very calm and collective and very, very nice, very kind. But yeah, and all gorgeous and have beautiful eyes. <laughs> Stuck with ice. You're gonna take I, ice back I, home. I I wish I could. I don't I don't know what it is, but everyone I'm like I over exaggerate. I'm not over exaggerating <laughs> though. Everyone has really nice eyes. It's weird. So have you have you gotten used to you know girls screaming, crying, not exactly waiting at you at airport stuff like that? No, I don't think you ever really get used to it. To be honest with you, it's it's crazy. So how does it feel having that support? Amazing. Even in Sweden. Incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, the craziest part is that I've never been here before and I, and I come and people know who I am and I have so much support here. That's what I can't wrap my head around. But it's amazing Like, because I'm all the way in Canada and I've been able to stay in connection with all my fans in Sweden and further places. It's crazy. So are, are Swedish fans special in some way? Yeah, you all look like models. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, you know what, actually, Swedish fans have been very, very incredible in my fan base, been very, they've helped so much, like, the, the, the fans, like, all my fans together, as in, like, they call them, like, the army, like, they work so hard together, and the Swedish have, like, worked very hard at pushing everyone, and it's amazing, actually, I, I, the support from Sweden has been really incredible. just nu. Folk har köat sedan tre natt och nu kom Sean Mendes hit. Fick fullkomligt, alltså verkligen slitas in där inne för att inte bli så här kärleksbehoppad, vilket han blev. Eh, och alla är bara överlyckliga, trots att det regnar och eh, är kallt. Han ni se honom när han hoppar i bilen? Ja, vi sa inte en sekund. Hur kändes det då? Alltså, helt overkligt. Kan ni bli så mycket lyckligare nu? <laughs> so how come you you start out this tour here? Because I couldn't wait to get here. I've really wanted to come here, and obviously, like I've been at, like my fans are always tweeting at me, "Come to Sweden, come to Sweden." So I was like, I knew I was coming to Europe, and like that was exciting to to be able to come here first. So so how does it feel now? You're here. We're like hours away. Yeah, from... if, you know what? Usually, some usually I thought it was going to feel a lot more weird, but. Everyone can speak English, so it doesn't ah. feel weird. Because no one's speaking different, really different languages. 
you all speak English to me, so like if uh, it just feels like I'm everyone has an accent. <laughs> yeah, I was saying like this. You, um, the accent is so calming. Like you guys sound so calm and like like it's like you're all stoned. <laughs> <laughs> like like Canadian like American accents were very like abrupt, abrupt and like talk like loud yeah. and strong. But you guys are so calm and like relaxed. I don't know what it is. I bet you're gonna see a different side tonight though. When yeah, all probably. Your friends. I hope so. Concert. I hope they scream loud. Yeah, I think they will. Right. I can promise you. I'm okay. not lying this time. Okay, good. I lied about the candy. Yeah, you did lie about the candy. Sorry. You told me where those were Swedish. Yeah, not. I know. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. So tell me about uh, this new album coming out, handwritten. Um, it's very. It's. I think it's really good. I'm very proud of it. Um, it's very. I always say like it's very me. A lot of it. Like the album is is wrote by me and and people I've worked with and. Um, all experience that I've I've gone through, experience that I'm going through, uh, things that I've heard stories about, um, things that I believe in, and it's very fun to, to create an entire big work of art like this, and I'm very excited for people to hear it. All right, um, this next one, uh, it's the newest single. Hope you guys know. I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you how to sing the first little bit, but I have a feeling you guys already know it. But. Um, this is something big. One, two, three. Oh, 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 something big, perfect. Oh, oh. Listen up for a sec. It's very hot in here, and you guys need to keep, stay cool. Listen, shh, shh. You guys need to stay cool, and what you need to do is help each other. I understand. This is very exciting. It's my first time here. I'm very excited as well. But listen, you guys are gonna start to feel sick if you keep running, or, like moving around like this. So try to stay still and be careful, okay? All right. I don't want anyone getting hurt. Okay. Cool. Um, this. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a new new song for you guys tonight from the album. So. Uh, you guys are going to be hearing those live, um, but this next one I'm going to be singing for you, uh, it's called Strings. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Was it important for you to be a part of the writing process and the making Definitely. of it? Definitely. 100%. Um, I couldn't sing an album that wasn't mine, like that, that wasn't wrote by me, because I feel you sing a song and you believe in a song and you perform a song better when you wrote that song because it has a special meaning to you. So it's important to me, for sure. Life of the Party mm -hmm. we, was a huge success. Yeah. Do you feel any pressure to live up to that with the new album and the new songs? Yeah, always, always. There's always a pressure to, to, to live up to the, few, the past, but um, I'm not too worried. I think... Uh, I mean, the music will speak for itself. If it doesn't react, then it doesn't react. But if it does, which it hopefully does, um, then then I'll be happy. But if it doesn't, then I figure out what does, and I and I work towards that. So that's kind of like how I look at it. So you're not afraid that it will be? Not so much. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Go with the flow. <laughs> so what are songs about? It was things you have experienced? Yeah, and... yeah. Like I, like I said, like it's like... Things that I've that I've experienced, things that I've learned in my in this career, and like I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, I think a lot of it just comes from emotion, like things that I've gone through in my life so far. I'm I'm very young, so it's hard yeah. to write about. And a lot of things I've actually taken from stories from other people, and I've wrote, put that into a song. So I mean, go with the flow. Is that a is that a, a saying? Way? Yeah, uh, go with the flow. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, you know that saying. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that a way to like handle the pressure? Definitely. That comes with you know. I think if you something? try, if you try to take control of everything, especially something so big, um, like music, um, you're gonna go crazy. So I, I'm always like, I like to just make good music, very relaxed, like that. Let's write a good song. Like this is a good song to me. Let's put it out there, type of thing. I don't really think like. Is this a hit? Or is, that, is this? I don't think about it too much because if I did that, I'd go crazy. So yeah, I live by go with the flow. <laughs> is it more like uh, these are songs I have written in my bedroom more than let's go in the studio Definitely. and make a hit? Definitely, hundred percent. 
Let this go and I'll see you so We're holding here, it's that song Told me it felt like an eternity Said it felt like an eternity Cause I knew back then we had more than friends Two sides of story, it all depends And I say you want to So, I mean, this is a big tour It ends like in the end of London, this year yeah. So, how have you prepared? What, what have you done? Um, lots of practice in my bedroom Standing up with my guitar strap in front of the mirror. That's how I prepare. How can that look like? It's just like me in front of my mirror staring at myself. <laughs> like, does this look cool? Do I look cool? Fixing my strap to, to figure out where I want the guitar yeah. to be. But yeah, that's how I prepare. So uh, have you found that, that look who makes you cool? Uh, I don't think so. I think I still look like a goof everywhere I go. I'm so long and I always <laughs> look so tall like a giant. But um, I don't think that's what matters. The music is what matters. Yeah, so it's going to be you and your guitar on stage? Right. Nothing else? Just me and the guitar. Ain't that scary? To be like, it's just A little guitar. bit, but that's yeah. what I've been doing since the beginning, so that's all I know. I don't, I, don't, I'm not, I don't know what it's like to have a band or to have a track playing behind you, so all I know is the guitar, so it's not as scary when, when that's what you're used to. So you are the youngest one to debut on top 25 yeah. at Billboard Hot 100. Yeah. Yeah. That's even better than Justin Bieber did. Yeah. So, are you taking over his pop throne now? I don't think so. I think me and Justin Bieber are very different. We have diff different music taste and different music style. Um, and like, I mean, I think uh, he'd, he'll, he'll do his thing and I'll do my thing in different areas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Should he be scared though? Um, no. He should be scared. If anything, we should work together and work as a team. So why do you think you did so good with this song? I mean, I think it's because it was very relatable. Um, most teenagers always have lots of self, um, like they don't believe in themselves. And, and I think to just have someone say like, hey, like you rock, like just love yourself as a person and then people will start loving you type of thing. Um, it really boosts your self-esteem up in a lot of teenagers and people, and anyone, you don't have to be a teenager, anyone can really connect with that and really sometimes just needs that message. So, do you feel yourself that has been hard, like loving yourself? Definitely. I think everyone has insecurities and problems that, that they don't like about themselves. And, and it's something your whole life that by the time you pass away, you, you'll never get over. But something that you work on and different things like music can help. So, how did you handle it? With music or...? Yeah, music has been a very big aspect in me being able to, to handle stress and things that bug me. And I think it's just... Making sure that you talk to people, maturing as a person and being like, hey, like, I should go talk to someone about this. Like, it's not, it's okay to talk to people about how you're feeling is very important too. So, so how is like, I mean, as we said, you're very young, you're in an adult world. Yeah. Stuff. How do you handle all of that? Um, I think it's, it's very important to, to, to have balance in your life and make sure that you don't let one trump the other. Because I always think of like my career and in this world and then my family and like I always want to have them at a balance where like yeah. I don't start to do more of my career so that my family because eventually one starts to go away right so you have to have that balance so that like you keep your sanity and then everyone around you keeps their sanity so try to keep things as normal as possible by coming home a lot and I mean it's just I mean I always say this like I have an abnormal career but I'm just a normal person. Like, I'm no different than anybody else, I just, my career is a little bit different and, and you know what I mean, that's realistically the only thing. I think people forget that, that as soon as someone's on TV and on interviews all the time, I mean, right now I'm just sitting in a room with you guys, like, yeah. there's nothing crazy and special about it, you know what I mean? It's, it's just a career that, that has put in such a, a big, like, bubble from the media that the people that are put, put into it apparently get this, this, like, vision that they're, like, not human or something, but I mean, yeah, that's why I say, like, I'm just a normal person, but my career is a little crazy. But are you afraid that people will forget that you are just a normal yeah, person? Yeah, definitely. That's a big fear, I think, of anybody who gets into the entertainment industry for to be afraid of, of people just, just like, I'm, like so I'm someone who gets upset, someone who gets angry, someone, someone who feels lonely, someone, you know what I mean? Every feeling you feel, I feel like, and, and just because, like, I have this name doesn't make me any different and I think it's hard though it's hard to forget that because when you see someone on TV and you see them on internet and you you, you start to lose grasp of, of their just them being a human because it seems out that they're not but I mean 
um, it's definitely something a little bit scary. But as a as a person, you me me if I walked around with with sunglasses on and a hood on all the time with four security guards, people start thinking that I'm no I'm not on the same level as them because and that's so wrong. And I feel like I feel like if I if I'm just very normal and I talk to everyone, I don't think I am above anyone. I don't think like people should look at you like that. So. As a, as a celebrity or whatever, it, you, it's up to you to, to make that difference. Like, I know Ed Sheeran, he's one of the most famous people in the world right now, but when you look at him, you just think he's a regular person who makes great music, and that's, and that's what like, I kind of want to be looked at. And, but he's very good. He's just very normal to everyone, doesn't, doesn't think of himself being any better. So I think that's very important. A lot of people <laughs> end up there, though, with the security guards and right. the sunglasses. I mean, sometimes... And... sometimes Sometimes it gets to that. Sometimes your privacy goes away, and you're feeling sick, or you're you're not feeling yourself, and you don't want to be on camera. And I understand that, but I mean, there's a point where I think it gets too much, and there's a point where like you have to know the balance. Like I said, balance is very important. I should get the word tattooed on myself or something, because really an important thing in life. We got good tattooers here in Sweden. Okay, as well, I'll get it so here. So you then. can good. you can get it here. Cool. So I mean, you and Ed Sheeran had dinner right yeah. last year. Yeah. Yeah. Did you talk about this? Yeah, then definitely. As well? This specifically, um, like I said, like I look up to him a lot in that sense. He's he's helped me a lot with trying to understand the whole thing. That he Has did. it been harder to understand everything than you thought it would be? Really, I didn't know what to expect. I don't know. You never really know what to expect. Um, it's funny how how little you know about like the industry when you're not in it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of all been new and a surprise to me. But he's he's very helpful. So dinner with Ed Sheeran. Do you have a Swedish musician or like celebrity that you would like to have a dinner with? I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't, because I don't really know who are Swedish celebrities. Like, can you name Swedish celebrities for me? Mm, like, if you go musicians like Avicii oh, or he's amazing. Delu, or like Icona Pop. Okay, I don't know. I, I beach he's amazing. I love him. I listen to his stuff when I work out. Ah, yeah. He's your working workout pal. He's my workout he partner. Yeah, there. <laughs> so, so he okay. doesn't know it. Yeah. So uh, I guess you two will have a dinner after you have worked out. Maybe one day. So. Yeah. So I, I got a last question. Who's Benito? Benito is this fictional or, or a fake person who I've made up to help me get through a photo shoot. I feel very uncomfortable when I'm in a photo shoot, oh, so I've awkward. created this alternate person that, when I'm Benito, like almost like acting, oh, yeah. I, I'm no, I'm no longer Sean, so then I can do the photo shoot. Benito's good at photo shoot. Sean's not. So, so uh, how is Benito like? Can you show the camera? <sighs> Benito's like very like smoky eyed. He's like um. I'm Portuguese, so I always say like this is the Portuguese, like the slick back oh. hair and like the suit. Like this is Benito. He's stylish. Why do you get awkward in front of camera? I just feel weird. <laughs> I mean, when someone has a camera up to your face and taking pictures of you, it feels weird all the time. So, is Benito ever on stage? Never. Sean's on stage always. Benito's so. only at photo shoots. That's where he stays. <laughs> he doesn't go anywhere else. Great. Thank you so much. Course, Good luck thank tonight. You. Appreciate it. Cool. And cut. And cut. Now the time's up, both the blast, snap back to reality. Oh, the ghost gravity, oh, the ghost gravity, jokes, he's so mad, but he won't give up that as you know, he won't have it, you know. He's so back to these ropes, it don't matter, he's dope, he knows that, but he's broke, he's so stacked, he knows when he goes back to his mobile, back to his, back to the lab again, yo, this old rap city. Something big, everybody's screaming loud like, oh.